Last month, my prepping goal was to learn more about first aid and to add to my medical prepping supplies. Here's what I got. To add to my pandemic supplies, I bought a box of 50 isolation gowns. They're disposable. Um, I purchased them for $36.24 on Amazon, but in a month's time, I noticed the price has now increased to $42.48. So get them while you can, I guess. I purchased a professional stethoscope so I could take heart, lung, and bowel sounds. And it was approximately $30 through the Patriot Nurses website. I also purchased, I'm not going to say this phenomenometer, hmm, probably not how it's pronounced, is it? The manual blood pressure cuff. This, in combination with a stethoscope, I can take a blood pressure even if I didn't have batteries for my automated one. This was approximately $26 through the Patriot Nurses website. I also picked up this automatic blood pressure cuff and monitor. It was only $3.99 at the thrift store and it still even had the original directions in the package. I put some batteries in and it works just fine. I also got this pulse oximeter, um, also from Patriot Nurse when I took the class. It's really a good idea to have this. I saw that Southern Prepper One just did a video on it also. But this gives you your oxygen saturation and pulse rate. You just place this on the end of the finger and you'll get an automatic reading. And you can purchase one of these online between $20 and $30. It's a good idea to know what your normal oxygen level is. And um, you can tell if someone is getting pneumonia or help measure the severity of an asthma attack. Not that expensive and it's a good thing to have. If you're going hiking this summer, it's really a good idea to take along an ankle support just in case you turn your ankle. They really don't take up much room. You need to get it to the correct size. <clears throat> this ankle support is for me. I bought it just a month ago at $23.40 and now it's almost up to $26 on Amazon. I don't know about you, but I can really be a clod and I can easily turn my ankle. So taking this with me gives me a measure of security in case I do that. I can put the support on and still limp out of the woods. These look a little odd. These are 1500 cc disposable enema kits. No, I really didn't buy them because I'm planning on giving anyone an enema. However, you can use this as an alternative way to an IV to rehydrate a person. An IV needs sterile fluid and you really need to know what you're doing to administer, which I don't. But this is something I could use if I needed to. And these just are three rolls of Johnson & Johnson Transport perforated tape. This tape can be used for wound closure, keeping on a bandage, and many other purposes. You gotta have it in your medical kit. And I bought some thieves oil. It's a combination of cinnamon, clove, and rosemary essential oils, along with eucalyptus and lemon oils. The New York Times has reported that it is effective against airborne pathogens and may even help prevent MRSA infection. You can pick these up for um, anywhere from $15 to $25 online. And this is just an inexpensive pen light. Um, as you can see here, it has the gauges of the pupil if you are doing a neurological exam. I believe this costs about between $6 and $7 online. Good idea to have in your med kit. At the dollar store, I picked up this tablet cutter. Good idea if you don't have the exact right dosage. It says you can cut pills with ease and accuracy. I also purchased on Amazon, where there is no doctor, a village healthcare handbook. It's considered the most accessible and widely used community healthcare manual in the world. It really has a third world village focus, but it would translate into a SHTF scenario. It provides vital information on diagnosing and treating common medical problems, Diseases, effective examination techniques, home cures, correct usage of medicines, 
and their precautions, nutrition, um, caring of children and older individuals, and first aid. And at the end is the green pages, which has 60 pages of prescription drug information. This section contains appropriately detailed directions of how and when and when not to use prescription medication. The book also has a helpful glossary and index. Now I paid $17.50 online to have the hardcover edition, but you can download it for free uh, on the website and I'll put that down below if you wish. I just like to have hard copies. Hey, you never know if an EMP happens, right? Okay, and lastly, I picked up this PDR, the Pocket Guide Prescription Drug Guide. Um, it's the ninth edition. It is a 2010 edition, and I picked it up for only 75 cents at the local thrift store. It's just a good idea to have something on hand. You can even look for any prescriptions you may be taking or family members. This is what doctors often have on their desk. There you have it. There's all my purchases except for the box of the 50 gowns that wouldn't really fit in the picture. This is Prepper Potpourri saying subscribe and share the knowledge. Thank you so much for your support.